Hi, this is Melly, and welcome to 25 in 52. This video is a little less stable because my tripod is missing. It's probably somewhere in my apartment. I have a lot of things, and the tripod is not a very big one of them. So, apologies for the shaky hand cam on my phone. Anyway, so this week I am going to get together with a friend of mine from elementary school who I haven't seen in over a decade. Which, you know, to... It's, it's a long time. It's a, it's a large part of my life. We used to be pretty close, and then um, when I moved to a different town, not far away or anything, just a different suburb, uh, we fell out of touch. I think that's when that happened. <laughs> the memories are a little shaky. Uh, but she, you know, every so often Facebook tells you it's someone's birthday. She found out it was mine uh, and said, wish me happy birthday on my Facebook wall. I went, hey, wait a second, you're close by, aren't you? Um, and so we're going to get together, and looks like she grew up into a big geek, just like I did. And so we should hopefully get along pretty well. Um, I imagine we'll find out. So that's tomorrow or today, depending on when you're watching this. That's, that's on Thursday. Okay, so that's the cool thing that I'm going to do in the upcoming period of time. Um, something cool that happened in the past, uh, since the last video in the past week was I went to go see Iron Man 3, and I really liked it, but I, I really like all the superhero movies, but this one's really good. I feel like it developed the relationship between Tony Stark and, you know, his assistant-turned-girlfriend, assistant-turned-CEO-turned-girlfriend, Pepper Potts. Um, there are some parts of it that I was a little less sold on, and there's some weird plot things involving um, disability which, yeah, I'm still sort of working through my thoughts on. Um, thankfully, despite the villain in the movie being the Mandarin, it's surprisingly not racist. I, I was really, really happy. Um, I was really worried because a lot of the historical Iron Man stuff has been pretty terrible. But anyway, so that's my near future, my near past. So I haven't been rereading The Great Gatsby, unlike you, um, and I haven't seen that much of promo stuff for the movie. I've just seen, you know, every so often there's a poster here, a poster there. Um, the style will be interesting. I have no idea if the movie will crash and burn or actually be any good. Um, but I think that you're maybe misinterpreting what people think of it. I, I feel like your opinion is that your opinion is that people think that you're supposed to want to be like, you know, Gatsby and all the upper class people who have so many things and thus have such great lives for it, huh? huh? No, um, and my perspective is a little more, I feel like people see these things and they go, oh, man, if I had those advantages, I would do this totally differently and I would do so much better. And so I feel like that's where really where the, the way the wishful thinking works out in there. That got away from me. Time for the make faces at the camera section of the video. I...